written by an unknown brother or sister. They're unknown by us, but they're known by the Lord. It has to do with being a vessel fit for the master's use and being a willing vessel, being a vessel that is used specifically for encouragement. Sometimes the vessel doesn't look very fancy. Sometimes it doesn't look like it's of any use at all. But if it is empty of the things of this world and ourselves, it is first and foremost the Lord's vessel, and he can use it how he wills. It's called the watered lilies. <clears throat> the master stood in his garden among the lilies fair, which his own right hand had planted and trained with tenderest care. He looked at the snowy blossoms and marked with unzerbent eye that the flowers were sadly drooping and their leaves were parched and dry. My lilies need to be watered, the heavenly master said. Wherein shall I draw it for them and raise each drooping head? Close to his feet on the pathway, empty and frail and small, an earthen vessel was lying which seemed no use at all. But the master saw and raised it from the dust in which it lay and smiled as he gently whispered, this shall do my work today. It is but an earthen vessel, but it lays so close to me. It is small, but it is empty. That is all it needs to be. So to the fountain he took it and filled it to the brim. How glad was the earthen vessel to be of some use to him. He poured forth the living water over the lilies fair until the vessel was empty, and again he filled it there. He watered the drooping lilies until they revived again, and the master saw with pleasure that his labor had not been vain. His own hand had drawn the waters which refreshed the thirsty flowers, but he used the earthen vessel to convey the living showers. And to itself it whispered, as he lay it aside once more, still will I lie in his pathway just where I did before. Close would I keep to the master, empty would I remain, and perhaps some day he may use me to water his flowers again. Amen.